What's up, guys? Let's talk healthy living, athletic performance, and specifically testosterone levels. I just uh, got my blood work done, got my testosterone levels checked, all of my levels checked. Um, your boy's in good shape. Your boy is in, in good health. Um, and I was talking to the doctor that I did the blood work, blood work with and asked the question, why is my testosterone in such a great spot? Why is it in a very clinically high position. Um, and I figured I would do a video today, somewhat breaking down my supplement list that I have on walk on fitness, walk on um, give you a little insight into that. And the couple of extremely important supplements that I am taking plus lifestyle coupled with that to why I think I am in such a great spot when it comes to hormone levels, when it comes to my vitamins, when it comes to uh, obviously the overall look of how healthy I do look in um, in my actual stature. Um, so wanted to get into a list. And obviously that's one of the biggest buzzwords these days is testosterone. People, men want to know, how do I increase my testosterone? How do I increase my hormones? How do I feel better, make myself happier, healthier, harder to kill? And aside from just saying, Hey, just live a healthy lifestyle. I figured I'd give you a little insight into what I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, that I think is aiding in that. Um, Disclaimer as well. I think it it would it uh, needs to be said. I am obviously fighting in the UFC right now under USADA, United States Anti Doping uh, Association. At any given time, they can knock on my door, come test me, whether it be urine or whether it be blood. Um, so every single thing that I take is third party tested. There are numerous third party testings out there. NSF certified for sport, Informed Choice, BSCG, um, and a couple other ones. Colner, I think, is one of them. Uh, but Basically, every single thing that I'm taking is third party tested because I got to make sure that nothing that is not uh, or some, nothing that was not intended to be in the supplements that I'm taking isn't going through the conveyor belt, ending up in my pill bottles um, and obviously contaminating them. So um, that's the best way to make sure that happens. So um, I want to go into kind of the basic generals of not supplements, but actual just lifestyle. Obviously, I've been training at a, at a high level, trying to build this body into a athletic machine since I was 14 years old. First in the sport of wrestling, now in the sport of mixed martial arts. Um, so lifting heavy weights, I think, is the number one contributor to hormone levels in general, plus strength, speed, quickness, explosiveness, uh, being able to move more, being able to hold your body more, walking downstairs without feeling like you're going to trip and break your shoulder, break your hip, uh, bone density, um, the strength of all of my tendons, shoulders, knees, elbows, all of my joints. Um, and overall increasing the load, increasing the stress on my body to then make my body adapt, getting sore, ripping the muscles apart, and then recovering correctly with, um, the supplements that I will get into. Um, so lifting heavy weights, I think even if it's 20 minutes every other day, 20 minutes, three times a week, if you can. Um, that's why I came out with my walk on fitness programs, people for years and years and years, I was giving away workouts on Instagram and YouTube and stuff. So I finally created an app. So if you want to check that out, it's walkonfit.com or at the app store or the Google play store for Androids walk on fitness, um, lifting heavy weights, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, getting that good use stress. There's a difference between stress, like when you're stressed at work or you're stressed because of relationship or stressed because of anxieties of the life that we live in. Um, but a good you stress where you're putting a good amount of stress on the body that, that it makes your body adapt and then turn on certain triggers, whether it be increasing hormones, increasing endorphins, increasing all of the different scientific millions of synapses is going on inside of your body. Um, so lifting heavy weights, obviously sleep is the number one contributor to hormone levels, sleep and recovery, getting a good deep sleep. I'll go into why I take certain things to sleep better here in a second. Uh, cold therapy, increasing that you stress by putting yourself in sub 60 degree water. I like it around 40. Now I had to work my way up to it. I have an ice barrel on my back deck, jump in it every morning, right after I drop the kids off at school or my son half off at school, sit in there for five minutes. Um, increase all of those endorphin levels, make me feel accomplished, make me feel good, 
it's a little bit painful here and there. It's a little bit uh, scary here and there. There's days that I don't want to do it, but I know I can check that off the box. So I'm physically giving a gift to myself, but I'm also mentally giving myself a gift to myself. Red light therapy. Um, I have uh, the true, true dark um, or the true light. I think it's Dave, Dave Asprey's company. I use that. I also have red light therapy in my infrared sauna. So red light therapy using a sauna, uh, every now and then just to sweat out the toxins when I maybe don't get a, a great sweaty workout in that week or too many great sweaty workouts in that week. So lifting heavy weights, sleep, cold therapy, red light therapy, and sauna. Um, those are kind of my things that I think are contributing to my overall body feeling phenomenal. So let's get into diet. Um, I do a high protein diet, lower carb diet. I get my carbs from vegetables, a um, little bit of sugar here and there with some fruits. So some carbs in the fruits, but overall I'm not eating pastas, breads, rice, a little bit of potato here and there. Um, when I splurge, I like to splurge on a, on a pizza here and there. Of course, you have to still stick to that 80, 20 rule. If you will, 80% of the time, if you can just stick to a diet or feel like you're eating really good 80 to 85% of the time. And that other 20% of the time, 15% of the time going off the rails a little bit and, you know, feeling like a normal human being here and there and still loving yourself through it, giving yourself the grace through it, that you're not going to eat a perfect hundred percent of the time. The reason diets don't work is that we say, okay, on this day, I'm starting a diet and anything less than hundred percent perfect is an absolute failure. It's not true. There is a huge fault and deficiency in our food system these days. It's so easy to go stop at McDonald's and it's so much easier to stop at Wendy's than it is to make a home cooked meal or go to uh, a non time constraining long period of time sitting down at a nice restaurant or a restaurant with good quality food. So I understand it. We live a hustle and bustle on the go, constantly moving forward type of life with all kinds of obligations, but giving yourself the gift of a decent diet will not just be the gift physically, but a gift mentally because you're going to have so much more mental clarity, high protein, uh, all whole foods. Essentially. I like steak. The leaner cut would be your filet mignon tenderloin. I do like a ribeye every now and then have my, my, cholesterol levels checked. Cholesterol was quote unquote, a little bit high, but not in a clinically high or dangerous range. And I think that is because I do like butters. I do like ribeyes with a nice little marbling. Um, so steak is my favorite. Also like chicken. We had chicken thighs last night. Phenomenal. Um, salmon is my favorite fish. Um, getting those good fats, the omegas, the EPAs and the DHAs. Um, and then whole vegetables whatever vegetable that you like. Um, there are people that say vegetables aren't great because they got the plant um, defense chemicals or defense toxins, if you will. Um, I don't necessarily subscribe to that. I like to have a nice little full range of all the vegetables, all the meat, a little bit of carbs here and there. If you want to, if you are addicted to them, if you need them, don't try to quit cold turkey. Um, when it comes to recovery, I lift heavy weights, I'm sparring, I'm training nonstop. So my muscles will get fatigued. My muscles will get broken down. My muscles will get sore. So my three big ones there are a good lean protein, lower in carbs, high in protein, low in sugar, something that tastes pretty darn good um, and has a 20 to 25 grams of protein per serving. Creatine, um, creatine aids in athletic performance, um, as well as, I mean, there's a lot of studies out there. If you just go Google creatine in the brain, there's so many studies out there right now that are linking a lot of brain benefits to creatine as well. So I really started taking creatine in the morning, uh, with my BCAAs would be the next thing. BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, which is the building blocks of protein, uh, as well as your EAAs or your essential amino acids. I believe there's nine essential amino acids and there are three Usually when you do the BCAAs, um, leucine, valine, and isoleucine, I believe they are. Um, but I'm drinking BCAAs or EAAs before every workout, basically, because it's just kind of my my anchor, my trigger, if you will. Throw it in a blender bottle, shake it up, drink it on the way to practice. That's first practice, and then drink it on the way to my second practice, um, as well as electrolytes. I really got turned on to 
the benefits and the necessity of electrolytes only a couple of years ago. You know, I think uh, as a weight cutting athlete, a guy who doesn't want to retain water for weight cutting, we always emphasized, you know, not doing too much electrolytes. But the simple fact of the matter is your body being dehydrated at all not only diminishes performance, but it just diminishes diminishes your human existence whatsoever in your everyday life. So drinking electrolytes uh, all day long. First thing I do in the morning, 32 ounces in a, I have a bottle with my LMNT, LMNT um, electrolytes that I'm taking right now. I also like Ultima Replenisher. Both of those I think can be found on Amazon. Ultima, U-L-T-I-M-A. Put a pack in, 32 ounces of water, put it in the refrigerator overnight, wake up in the morning, chug it before my coffee. Very important, chugging my water, cold water electrolytes before I actually drink my coffee in the morning. Because the last thing you want to do, wake up dehydrated. We all wake up dehydrated because we haven't drank anything for six, eight, 10 hours, however long it's been, and then start drinking coffee, further dehydrating yourself, further brain fogginess, further fatigue, further body not moving, our body not functioning correctly. So electrolytes, those are the two that I use. Um, I guess I'll go into a couple different um, vitamins and minerals, if you will. Um, so vitamin D, magnesium, fish oil, beta alanine, a beet and a beet supplement. Um, so vitamin D, especially if you don't live in California, Arizona, Nevada, uh, or down in Florida, the sunshine state. If you don't live in a state where you're getting a lot of sunlight, my vitamin D levels, when I got them checked were right where they needed to be. I'm not going to tell you how many I use to take per day. Uh, cause I'm not a registered dietitian. Um, or nutritionist, whichever one it is, where you're not supposed to be giving uh, dietary advice, but um, you can do your research. But vitamin D is extremely vital. My vitamin D, living in Nashville, Tennessee, not getting a ton of sun, I would get a decent amount of sun. It's actually beautiful today, but um, even when it's the summertime and the sun is out for 12, 15 hours a day or whatever it is, and I get a lot of sun, I'm still taking a lot of vitamin D. Um, Vitamin D is probably one of the most deficiency, the most well-known or most, I guess, prominent deficiencies that people have these days. Um, in a world where immune system function and effectiveness is paramount, vitamin D's properties will help you stay in good health and also be known to strengthen bone health. Uh, I supplement vitamin D even if I get a lot of sunlight. That's right here from my supplement list. Um, the next one is magnesium. There are so many types of magnesiums out there, so you need to do your research on which one and why. Some people take magnesium for sleep. Some people take magnesium just to keep a good amount of magnesium in their body. Some people take it to go to the bathroom um, who have bowel issues. I know a few people like that. Um, but the reason I take magnesium, I have good bowels, I have good sleep, but I do take my magnesium at night usually um, just to help me get a deeper sleep. And also just to make sure my magnesium levels are where they need to be because magnesium has so much more of a function in the body than I thought there was, than I thought it did uh, up until a couple of years ago. I honestly thought people just took it to either sleep at sleep or go to the bathroom. And um, neither of those two things um, should be really be your main emphasis on magnesium. Make sure you're getting enough magnesium to make sure your body is functioning um, properly. What did I say about magnesium here on my walk on fitness? Um, I take magnesium for sleep and recover the recovery benefits, but there are many other benefits of taking magnesium. Taking magnesium before bed may help you fall asleep and stay in a deeper sleep, therefore increasing recovery. Obviously, when we talk about me and how much I train, I do want to be able to get that deep, deep sleep, but also having high magnesium levels in my body, making sure it functions correctly. The next one is fish oils. Obviously, I am a in a combat sport where I am taking blows to the head. So the main thing for me is athletic performance at all times and my brain health. Um, so fish oils, EPA and DHA, omega-3 fatty acids are known to help brain function and immune system. Uh, my immune system, I forget which uh, marker it was on my blood, but the doctor said, hey, these uh, this level of the the your immune system markers is off the charts, healthy as an ox. And I really do not get sick a lot. Um, honestly, I rarely ever get sick. You know, I have a saying actually that I don't get sick. I just say that to myself. Part of it probably is mental. Part of it probably is when I do get a little bit under the weather, I tell myself I'm not sick and then I get 
healthy faster, if you will. Um, but the brain health, the brain health and immune function of having good fish oils, omega threes, EPA, DHA, um, Second to last one, beta alanine, known to de decrease fatigue in muscles, also boosting athletic performance, known as, known as a powerful antioxidant and known to increase immune system function. Um, so once again, immune system, athletic performance, the more we can increase our athletic performance to be able to lift the weights or do the runs or do the hard cardio, do the hard strength training, push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, putting ourselves under that U stress um, not stress where it's breaking down your body too much and having detrimental effects, but enough to be able to put yourself through a little bit of stress, a little bit of pressure testing, a little bit of outside of the comfort zone, not only mentally feeling more clarity and more confidence because you did something and you moved and you set out to do what you started at the beginning, but also increasing your body's effectiveness and efficiency. And once again, going back to making yourself happier, healthier, and harder to kill. So beta alanine, B-E-T-A-A-L-A-N-I-N-E. -A -A -E. A lot of these, as I said, I only take NSF certified informed choice, third party testing. You guys can take whatever you want um, because you're not getting drug tested like I am randomly and often. Um, the last one is beet, a beet supplement beat. Uh, it's known to improve endurance by activating essential nitric oxide in the body. So more and more blood flow, more and more oxygen in your body, nitric oxide. Uh, there's one out there called beat elite, which is NSF certified. Um, so I've taken that one, but there's a couple other beat supplements out there and there guys, the, the problem, one of the problems with Hey, how do you eat healthy? Hey, how do you supplement correctly? Hey, how do you increase hormone levels? Hey, how do you get better um, mental clarity, physical prowess, athletic performance, look better, feel better, act better, be better. There's just so much information out there. And I feel like I've hit you with a lot of things. We're now talking for 17 minutes on just eight or 10 little things. Um, but the overall overarching theme of this is I was pleasantly surprised with where my hormone levels were, were, uh, even kidney function, liver function, um, these very vital and important organs, um, how my blood is moving through my body, all of those different markers, all of these were doing really, really good. Um, and I don't say that to, uh, impress anybody, but I do say that to impress upon you that you being diligent and brilliant with the basics trying to live a cleaner lifestyle, giving yourself the gift of supplementing correctly, even if you're over supplementing in certain areas. Uh, I know I'm probably, you know, I know I probably have a very expensive pee. I'm probably peeing out a decent amount of the supplements that I'm taking. Maybe I'm taking a little bit too much of, not too much, maybe a little bit excess of this vitamin. I'm going to pee it out, but I'd rather have a little bit excess than not enough. And once again, I'm not a, I'm not your registered dietitian. I'm not your nutritionist. I'm not a certified doctor or uh, whatever credential I need to be to be telling you guys how much to take. You guys do that research. You guys do, you know, have word of mouth anecdotal evidence from other people as well. But these were kind of my cornerstones of why I think my body has lasted as long as it has. It is now May 2nd as I make this uh, video right now. I just turned 37 years old and I've been competing at a high level in mixed martial arts now for almost 15 years, taking a lot of damage to my body. Um, but I still feel like I'm 26 years old. I still feel like I'm about 10 years younger than I actually am. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I make my living based upon how my body is functioning, feeling, and performing. So show yourself a little bit of grace and give yourself a little bit of credit. If you do feel like crap, look like crap, act like crap, think like crap, because you're putting crap, crap into your body. But let this be a catalyst to telling you that you were created for ridiculously awesome things on this planet. And there's a lot of distractions. There are a lot of pitfalls. There are a lot of stumbling blocks, especially in our food system, um, especially on the internet, especially with environmental toxins, especially with toxic people. Um, so these are my cornerstones and all of this information and actually more, I, I only gave you about 
six supplements on my probably 15 to 20 supplement list on walkonfit.com or our walk on fitness training programs where you can become happier, healthier, and harder to kill. Link is in the link is down below. Um, and make sure you guys leave some, leave some comments. Uh, even if you have some questions, let us know. Even if you want to call me out and say, I gave you the wrong information, I'd love to hear it because I am constantly on an education quest to make this body the best it possibly can be and help you find the body, the health, the happiness, and the life that you always wanted. So thank you guys for tuning in. That's my supplement list. That's why I think my testosterone levels are so high. Might be off base a little bit. I'm probably spot on. God bless. I'll see you at the top.